If you don't know, Nintendo and Lego partnered to create this. Well, what's under... <laughs> Come here. This. Yeah, okay, so this video might be a little bit different to what I normally do. I've been really excited for this. Growing up, I had a ton of Lego. I had a ton of Kinex. Anyone remember Kinex? On top of that, I also grew up with an NES. I was born in 1990, and when I arrived in my house for the first time, unbeknownst to me because my brain hadn't developed enough to create memories yet, one of these was already in my house. And for the first decade of my life, I grew up playing an NES with games like Super Mario Brothers. And having them come together like this, I was of course going to buy it, even though it was kind of really expensive. I think it cost like $250. This is all I cared about, honestly. Before this, they did make this, which is a Super Mario Lego crossover, but it didn't look very interesting to me. It looks very, obviously, uh, uh, baby, baby, baby game. <laughs> it looks very baby game. So I had no interest in this, but obviously huge interest in this. And apparently, you can take this little Mario dude and you can sit him on top of this thing and it, it, I don't know, changes the music or something I saw in the trailer. So obviously I had... I had to get it just to, to see what would happen there. And then this was free. They sent a little extra add-on for this thing. Apparently I qualified for a mushroom bonus pack, so... Cool. <laughs> I guess I'll start by opening this. It's a very weird shaped box too. Like it's it's oblong. I know that it's like kind of crap and baby looking, but <laughs> there's something. Of I haven't bought Lego. I've never bought Lego. Actually, now I think about it, my Lego was always gifted to me. Because I was a child. <laughs> I don't know, could I make Mario real quick? How hard would it be to make Mario? Oh, this is pack one. Oh, I think this is more complicated than it. Well, it can't. He needs battery. Well, I guess he, yeah, he does things, right? Where's your feet, Mario? I'm already confused. The instructions say one, but his legs are in this pack with planks. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need a screwdriver. And I'm probably also going to need to find some batteries. All right. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay. I found batteries. Yeah, you know, last time I sat here with a screwdriver and I was taking things apart. Didn't really end well for me. <laughs> you don't end up drilling into the wrong place. I drilled into my finger. All right, Mario. Plug in two triple A's right up your spine. All right, so I don't know why this says step one and this says one when his legs are in this bag and then his hat is actually in number one. It look it looks dumb in the pictures. It's a little cuter in person. Ooh, why do I need to stick his ears on? <laughs> Seems like a weirdly pointless step. I don't like how black and soulless his eyes are before you turn him on. It's kind of creepy. It's like demon Mario. All right, let's see what happens when I turn him on. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. He's like blinking. Oh, you can... So you build like an actual little side-scrolling Mario course, and then I'm guessing when you jump on the different things, it'll make a noise depending on the thing. So if he was to jump on the coin block... Is that the coin block? Maybe that's not the coin block. Okay, I am admittedly having a little bit of fun here. <laughs> oh, I think I missed an ear or a nose or... Maybe it... Maybe it... Maybe it's just a spare part. I'm gonna put that aside for now and I'm going to recreate this in Lego, but probably not in this video because that would be ridiculous. So, 18 plus. I'm assuming it's not because of any maturity rating. I don't think we're gonna stumble upon a nudie mag inside here. Uh, I would say it's probably because there's 2,646 pieces in here. You have to build not only the NES, the controller, and 
an actual game cartridge, and the TV with a moving screen inside. That's crazy. It's not happening in today's video. I'm gonna jump on Twitch and build a little bit of it on Twitch. Well, that can't, this can't be all of the controller in there. There's no way this whole bag makes a controller. There's not enough stuff in here. We did it, yay. I think it looks pretty neat. Oh! Oh my god. Gosh, there's just bags and bags in here. Oh my gosh. What a nightmare. I can't build this. I immediately regret my decision. There's no way. There's no way I have the patience all the time. What was I thinking? It just keeps going. I'm not even halfway through the box. I don't... <laughs> I didn't like folding Labo for an hour. There's no way. So we have all of that, and then, oh my gosh, this is. It's just more Lego. <laughs> That's the manual? What? One thing I, I will say that I do really like about this is for any of you old enough to remember what the manual was like for the original NES, this is what it looked like. Oh, that's neat. They made little stickers. I'm guessing to stick on your build once you're done, maybe like on the back of it or something. Oh no. This is just for the NES. This is for the TV. I don't think I've even ever read a book this big. You know, okay, I'm not dumb. Maybe I'll just make the NES cartridge and then we'll call it we'll call it there. Oh wait, the NES cartridge is seven steps. We could totally make the NES cartridge. What are you guys worried about? <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you have to say about it, Mario? Whoopee! Buying this was a mistake. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to find it because the bags are numbered. But they haven't numbered like... Like told me what bag I need. Okay, so there's a big, big green piece. If I see a big... I think that's it. This says bag number seven, but there's nothing on here that says bag number seven has this stuff in it. Needlessly confusing. This also has a number seven on it. I don't think it in any way relates to this number seven. This also has number seven on it. Bag <laughs> number seven. I don't see how this is going to turn into an NES cartridge. <laughs> All right, this piece. Oh my gosh, look at the little entertainment thing. Look at that. This isn't on the cartridge. Oh, we got this. This is gonna be easy. All right, why do I only have one of these short pieces? Why am I already missing literally on the second step and I already made a mistake? Oh, it's coming together now. So if you actually look into an NES cart, you see the green connectors inside. I like that. Oh no. Why am I missing pieces? Yeah, I feel like there's another bag. But it's so close, we almost have all the pieces. Like, this is the end of the step! We're almost there already! Why would you- why would you do that? There's more pieces here than I need. And there's only two- two little pieces I'm missing. Why would you put in extra pieces that I don't need for this step? And not the two last pieces that I need! What sense does that make? Are they just trying to make this needlessly more difficult? Okay, well it was bag seven, and I remember we did see some other little bag sevens. Here they are! Well, okay, now here's the thing. Oh my god. Th this was bag seven, right? With a majority of the cartridge in it. I might- okay. I might look like an absolute cringe full noob right now to any of you pro Lego builders out there. Like this might be peak cringe to anyone watching me that's ever made a Lego kit after they were a child. So I, um, I went and complained to Kim about how it didn't tell me what bag I needed. And uh, we realized it was because they combined the NES cartridge with the console. So once you're at the end 
of building the console, it randomly tells you to grab bag seven. Now, I will say it tells you to grab the big bag seven, not the little ones, but it does say bag seven. And then you would finish building this part with all the pieces from bag seven. And then once you're done, the only pieces you should have left in that bag are the pieces for the cartridge. So they don't tell you to grab bag seven because if you start from the beginning, you should already be using that bag. So if I had built the NES first, I probably wouldn't have any pieces left over from these bag sevens. Um, so it was my fault. <laughs> If there's eight steps to making a cartridge, put them all in one bag. Oh crap, crap on a cracker. Okay, then what else do I need out of here? I need two. See that, this system button, that's for the actual console. I don't want to get everything out of this bag because I don't need all of- Oh no, oh no, oh no. I need a couple things out of this bag now. Just a couple that could have been in this bag to begin with. This is fun. But where it- <laughs> Now they're trolling. So in the in the in the big, literally twice the size as this piece, seconds after. So why would you split them? There's already three thousand pieces, Nintendo. You didn't have to make it even more complicated. That goes there, and once it's done, it's gonna look really cool. I think I've done something wrong. Everything else looks right. What have I done? This is why, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> I built it the wrong way around. I built the left stuff on the right side and the right side on the left. Oh my God. It's not hard to fix. It's just gonna take, I gotta, ow! Why am I so useless? Oh, okay. Well, uh, a bunch of broken fingernails and hurt joints later, I managed to pry it all off the other side and move it over and we're, Oh, we're almost done. It looks really, it, it looks cool actually. I do like it. But these stickers, the stickers I found earlier. But now we have to really carefully apply the stickers. Oh, I think that was pretty good. That was, pr oh my, I'm actually, that's, pr it's not like perfect, but it's almost perfect. I almost could have done a better job, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Yeah, that one was pretty good too. All right, good. I didn't mess up the stickers. Look, it's, okay. A lot of frustration. But I mean, I knew that the end result of all of this is gonna look really cool. It took me 27 minutes to build this. Granted, half of that was because I was trying to find the pieces they hid from me. Well, I'll say if you're thinking about grabbing the Nintendo Lego set, uh, it's quality. It's Lego and Nintendo, two of the most quality brands around. And you can chuck in a glass case or on a shelf and have it be a, a, a figure, a talking piece. It's something cool, cool to look at forever. I hope you enjoyed this video for whatever it was, me slowly losing my mind as I was trying to build this thing. Please like the video for my suffering. Subscribe down below for more Lego video. No, <laughs> whatever I do on this channel. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.